Hi everyone, how you doing? Did you have a nice weekend? Ours was a chilly one. I wish I could say, oh, it's nice and cool weather for me, but you know, what I'm going through with this heat problem. The heat's still here in my body. Um, and I'm still chilling. Not that kind of chilling. <laughs> you know, freezing chilling. But um, if you watch our video from Saturday, or was it? Sunday. I don't remember. Gosh, did I even put up the video? I think I did. Saturday or Sunday when we were in the grocery store looking in the snack aisle like chips and stuff like that. So we actually had, had to go to the, the I was to go to the bathroom, yeah. Yeah, we went all the way to the store with the dirtiest bathroom in town to use their bathroom. Yep, that's what we did. Yep. Yep. Caught us. Yep. <laughs> No, we weren't going to the bathroom. We were going to the bank. So I was waiting in line, and the bank is in the grocery store. So even if you stand back, which even before it's going on in our world, they have, well, they don't now, but they used to have a little kind of thing with a, I don't know how to describe it. It's got a, uh, you know when you stand in line somewhere and they make like these kind of, I don't know how to describe it. These things they have on the ground that, like, divide people. There's a long line. I don't know how to explain it. But anyhow, so anyhow, you stand. They don't have that. So you, anyhow, you stand far enough away. And we still mask up, so we stand far away. But it doesn't matter. You're in a grocery store bank, so you can hear what everyone's business is. So there's a guy in front of me who was, he was, um, depositing $600 in his bank account. Okay? So he has a he had a checking account and they always ask in the bank what are you doing? It's kind of odd when you think about it. Usually you just like ha hand them save your like this guy was putting money in his bank. So he would hand either um a thing with a statement, a statement, a piece of paper that you fill out that you put money in the bank, and then you put money in your account. I think it was, yeah, it was a checking account. So anyhow, I, I could hear him very clearly. He says, I'm depositing $600 in my checking account. Must be nice. Anyhow, then I hear her say, because you could, like I say, you can hear people talk. And um, I could hear her say, Okay, that's fine. I'll need to see your um, driver's license. And I thought, well, that's odd. Because um, I'm sure at some point I had to deposit money in my checking account. And I don't remember the asking for my driver's license because this guy was not getting cash out of the bank. Well, first of all, they don't ask for your driver's license. The only time they ask is like... And I don't even know if they do it now after hearing that. But, um, like, if you have a check that someone gave you that's drawn on, say, my bank, and you're not a customer, they'll ask you whether you're licensed. But I, I haven't been to the bank hardly ever, so I don't know what goes on anymore. But I had heard a rumor a while ago that the government is going to keep track of your money, what, what you do with your money. And I remember specifically the number 600. And I almost think it had to do with, um, well, it should. It had to do with, I don't want to be specific because I don't know what we can say on, you know, on the channel. But somebody in the government had said $600 or more if you, but I'm pretty sure they said if you withdraw it. So anyhow, I didn't, I didn't even talk about it on the channel because I thought this is just, you know, malarkey. You know how a lot of the news is just malarkey. But it was definitely $600, and I'm pretty sure it said withdraw. So, um, and that just stuck in my head as I'm talking to you about that $600, that figure. So he's like, why do you have to see my license? I'm putting money in my bank account. And she said something. I couldn't really hear her because she first started talking low. And as his voice got louder, her voice got louder, so you... I think the whole store probably heard them. 
So he kept saying, I am not going to show you my driver's license. Did I tell you? She asked for his driver's license. To put money in my own checking account. And I would agree with him. Because I, I remember I put like a check from, I can't remember where, but in my bank account. No one ever asked me for my license. And he was saying, I come here all the time, every week, sometimes twice a week. No one's ever asked me for my license. And then I heard her say, well, starting as of last Monday, so it was Saturday when we were at the bank, if anyone deposits or withdraws $200 or more, we have to see their driver's license. So obviously he's there all the time. She even said, yeah, I know you. You know, you're here all the time after he said it. So I don't understand other than whatever I heard a while ago that I thought was a rumor is now happening. So it is now happening. So, I mean, when when you put money in your checking account, it's there's a paper, paper trail, right? You can ask for a, um, a slip. That will show your balance or, you know, did she ask, did he want to slip? Let me think. You know, she did ask. And usually you just put your money in and they give you a slip. And she asked, do you want a receipt? Receipt. And I've never heard that being said. But anyhow, so, the, you know, there's a trail in you. But why do they need your license? So this has to do with this rumor I heard. It, you know, it could have been on a prepping channel or... You know, one of those kind of channels that they were, you know, people who are saying what's going on in the world, what's going to happen, you know, that kind of stuff. But, yes, yeah, specifically, I remember the $600 number. So, ladies and gents, uh, that's a true thing. So, it'll be interesting to know if you come across this in your bank. I just, I couldn't believe my ears. And he was fighting a good fight, like... I'm putting money in my own account into your bank, which I bank with. Why do you need to see my license? And like I say, oh, I, maybe I didn't say, he wasn't putting um, like checks in where, I don't know, maybe he deposit checks. Um, like I said, I think I said, I'm doing this over because I said it wrong the first time. So I don't know if I said in this one it was screwed up checks. If you're going to say my bank and someone wrote you a check, and you don't bank at that bank, they would ask you for your driver's license. I, and like I say, after yesterday's event, I don't even know if they <clears> do that. But um, I don't understand. You're putting money in your own account. Not even taking it out, which shouldn't matter anyhow. It makes no sense to me. So... At the end of the day, I guess he needed to put the money in his account. I don't know if he wrote checks and you know, checks take a while to to clear. And maybe he wrote more than he had and he had to put more or he put more because he had to write more. I, I don't know. what You could figure any scenario. Or he just wanted to put money in his checking account. But he had to show his driver's license. So I guess he really needed to do it. Because I guess for me, I would be, I'm a person of principle. I would just say forget about it. And I'm sure a lot of people would say they're taking their business elsewhere, but I'm pretty sure if they're doing it in this bank, they're doing it somewhere else. And um, I don't understand. I was going to ask, like, you know, not that I was listening, but you can't, you know, you're right there. <laughs> There's not a big space. And um, actually, no, he asked, I remember he did ask, that's when it started escalating the voices. And she says, I really don't know why, but since Monday, anyone who withdraws or deposits $200 or more, we have to see their license. And she took it for a bit. I don't know if she wrote it somewhere, what she did with it. I don't know. But he kept saying, can I have my license back? Can I have my license back? So I have no idea. But like I said, I heard this. I thought it was just some rumor. You know, a lot of things that are said don't really come to fruition. Like, um, I had heard something about the date, September 24th, which, um, 
I don't know. I think um, it was going to be a bad day. Um, something real bad. But I don't know what you can say on here. So I don't want to say stuff you can't say. The end was going to come basically. Well, it, the 24th came and went. So that wasn't true. So like I say, sometimes you hear things they are not. But let me know if you hear anything like this in your bank. Because I can't imagine that this would be only this bank, this branch, or this, you know, this this particular bank. So, let me know if you hear anything like that. I just, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like I say, you are in such close proximity, even though you're far enough away. There's, you, you can hear people's business. So, um... Yeah, I don't I don't know what would be the reasoning. They've never done that before. If you put money in your checking account. Like I say, he wasn't taken out, he was put in, but she said for in or out. So why would you think they've never done this before? Why do you think they're asking for people's driver's license? Do they have a list? Are they gonna have a running list to keep track if you're putting money in or taking it out? I don't know. I have no idea. But what I heard, like I said, came to fruition. It's been, I think, about a year ago that I originally heard it. But I'm hearing more and more things about, you know, just kind of strange things happening. So let me know. I know there's this one channel, this guy would, he, the way he talks, it's, it's very eloquent. Like he says, ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe this. I should talk like, you would not believe this, you know? Uh, that's how I should start my video. But it's the end of the night. Not really. It's not that late, actually. It feels like this night is like dragging forever. But, um, yeah, I, I just couldn't believe it. So let me know what you think. I'm going to think on it and wonder why in the world do they have to see your license. Like I said, it was a cash deposit. No check, nothing like, well, I mean, they could find you anyhow. They're putting it in your bank account. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. So let me know if you come across anything weird with your bank accounts, withdrawing, depositing, you know, whatever whatever you got to do. Or if anything weird is like it, you know, at the, um, I can't remember. We bought a few things, but I didn't use like a debit card or anything. I just gave cash. I don't know. Maybe they're going to ask for your license for cash if you give it anywhere. I don't know. I just think that's very odd. And I can't so far, like I said, of course, you know me, I think. I can't think of any reason why they would ask for your license for you to put cash money in your own bank account. I don't know. So maybe some of these things that I've been hearing are going to come to fruition. We'll see. I just thought it was really odd. So let me know if you hear anything like that. So for now, I hope you had a nice weekend. How's your weather? Is it getting cooler? Is it like fall type? So far, like I said, we always look at the 10-day forecast. It's been pretty accurate, and it hasn't pretty much this whole year. I always say, you know, they say one thing, and it's another. And once um, my son and I, we wrote down the, you know, 10-day forecast and compared it to what it really was. But so far, knock on wood, because I want the cooler better weather the better well i don't know yet i'm still suffering but hopefully i'll be a little better with my health problem but um so far what they've been saying is happening it's cold and it's raining and raining and cold so it's it's not fun no that's right saturday it wasn't raining because we were out and it actually got hot the sun came out but uh sunday it was raining all day and it's raining now it's supposed to rain, I think, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. I don't know. It's supposed to be cold. Cold meaning at night. One night it went down in real low 40s. Um, I think last night it was in 50s. It's about in the 50s, like 54, 56. This actually, I don't know what the feel like. One, one night it was, it felt like 40. I think it was 42, felt like 40. But yeah, so... Um, Weather is getting cooler, which is nice. But yeah, let me know if you've heard anything weird in your bank. Any kind of weird weird things they're asking you to do that they didn't before. So don't forget, be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself grace. 
do something nice for yourself. You know, the world is full of so much stress and whatever stresses we have in our life to begin with, before this, after this, during this, whatever. Seems like our world is full of stress. And now when you got to show license plate, license plate, your driver's license. You know what? What if someone didn't have a driver's license? She specifically said driver's license, not ID. Maybe she misspoke. Maybe there's ID. But a driver's license in our state, it's pretty specific. It shows your picture. So I don't know what kind of license, oh, license, ID. <sighs> I don't know. My words are ahead of my brain or my brain's behind my words. I don't know. But I guess if you have a job outside the house, you might have a work ID. I don't know. But she asked for driver's license specifically. So for whatever reason, I don't know. So anyhow, back to the outro as I veered off to the left once again. Do something nice for yourself. Enjoy the weather. If you like this nice, cool, crisp fall weather, I love the fall. And um, most importantly, stay safe. Thanks for stopping by. And comment down below if you experienced or, you know, overheard something strange happening. So, what's the Ghostbusters? Something's going on in the neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. I know. They had nothing to do with anything. I don't know. It just came to my mind like something strange. It was strange. Anyhow, guess I'm overtired. I hope I made sense. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, everyone.